This child team stuff uh, sounds scary, but it's really not too hard. It's just some files that you can edit right there in WordPress. And so uh, I'll show you in a sec. So you go to your documentation section and uh, scroll on down, look at the child theme section on developer and pick the first one up here at the top. Okay, it, uh, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, here's one that they give you to download. You click that, it takes you to a download link. Just click download and you don't have to unzip this, just download it straight, custom code.zip, okay? And um, then you'll upload it in the normal way go into install themes and upload select the file that you just downloaded and say install now and activate it now mind you you've already got in headway installed so you see so you wind up with the child theme in here then go to your editor and you'll see I've got the style sheet and there it is this is the child theme this is the exact same thing that he shows in the uh, you fit the tutorial and there's the functions so I'll just click on that and there you have I have a, just a blank empty functions that comes with it and you're basically just gonna take code that you've gotten and uh, paste it in there okay and hit update file test it see if it works so uh, so for instance that really cool um, f code that was shared over here on Kelly wise you would uh, put the CSS stuff into the CSS one and the and this uh, functions stuff into the functions one. So you just simply copy and um, and you would paste that in there. Okay, hit update file and then you go to the style sheet and. Uh, Take the style sheet information she gave. Thanks, Kelly. This is totally cool. And on the style sheet, paste it in, update the file. And now uh, in your widgets, the word is that you should now find a new widget. And uh, Oh, a new bar okay and so there you have it that's that's how that's done I have to actually go into the uh, visual editor to show you the rest but uh, let's see let me pause this ah I'm blind here it is right here footer widgets and that's what that code added so you can just then take and throw a text box in there and add anything you want this is where I can be uh, found. There you go. And surround that with um, basic anchor text. Uh, a href equals I better put a code there. And close it. And save. And so now I would have a footer widget that's available uh, that I can see on my page and put anywhere I want, okay? So this should show up everywhere that I've got this page. So let's take a look. Um, where do I have this? Uh, there we go. Do I have a footer? No, I don't. Oh, there we go. No, it's not. Okay, so well, I have to fiddle around with that. You know, we'll make it work. Okay, so you just uh, basically add a footer, and uh, you're about to figure that out. And look, there's where I made my text. This is where I can be found, and it's a clickable link. And you would simply save, and now that page is going to have a uh, a footer on it. Okay. So uh, let's see if I can get back to that page. There we go. This is where I can be found. And it's a clickable link. Okay, so that's how that's done. And a child theme did it all and painlessly.